Hey guys, while attempting to synthesize a giga counter sound, I came across some other randomized jittery sound types that include computer or disk drive processing, trickling, rattling effects, scraping of a bumpy surface, crickets and insects, clicking and crackling. What a lot of these descriptions have in common are extremely short chirps or impulses and degrees of randomness. So what we're listening to is the output of Absinthe's Etherizer module and we're going to use this slider as a simulation of the counter's clicking intensity. It will produce a continuous but random sputtering sound but when further away, the effect will drop off. So to start with, we'll choose this analogish library wave. I've set it to a fixed frequency in the third octave. It is just a single voice, which is rich in harmonics like a saw wave. More detail on the wave spectrum and pitch in the second video. And I'll add a wave shaper just for a simple boost. Although this is a simple static wavetable, the key aspect we'll examine comes from the effect. We'll turn this dry amount down and use just the wet output. This diffuse stereo grain cloud can be panned into mono to be more suited as a sound effect. Yet what we have here is a dense cloud. It's the typical sound of the etherizer, a beautiful cloud of grains. But if we lower the grain duration to 3%, watch this visual and notice the grain durations are joined together. Any lower than 3% and the grains become discontinuous chirps. The Giga counter doesn't typically have a drop off in volume as the proximity is reducing. Instead, the number of popping sounds is reduced in frequency. The channel volume is a control driven envelope, which is significant given its stepped shape, so rather than a smooth volume change, we'll get a switch effect. I'll add a custom LFO shape, which adds some variation to the amp. In this case though, I'll be sure to map this to the slider and then invert the assignment so it has a stronger effect on the lower grain rate. Note that the macro control has been renamed to LFO depth. If you like, you can also map the associated random parameters to the macro for a more dynamic sound. Have a glance at this spectrogram for these final adjustments.
The duration is also randomizing, which gives the illusion that some grains are closer together than others. Now on top of this we also have a grain filter that modifies the tone. So the Giga Counter, being a small device, has a mechanical resonance to it, which can be achieved somewhat with this comb filter. And we'll see what we like. We have high feedback, a little bit of randomness, but no pitch variation. A better way that will add resonance to the individual grains is by utilizing this master delay line as a cone filter. I'll use the maximum gain setting. Set the feedback high. And the duration to 2 or 3 milliseconds. Use the low pass filter to dampen the resulting string timbre. We'll try to emphasize around the fundamental fixed frequency between 3 and 400 hertz. Notice the difference. Now there we have our dynamic, interactive gig counter. More to come, so please subscribe, like, and leave a comment.